So I see that by Pythagorean theorem, I get that x plus 1 squared plus y minus 1 squared equals 2 squared. Where in this particular instance, my center is at negative 1, 1, and I have a radius of 2. In all of these, you should have realized that the x value of the center, I do x minus that number. The y value, I do y minus the y value. And my radius is what we're equal to, that number squared. This lets me generalize my equation for a circle, so that if I have a circle that has its center at, we'll say, h comma k, and a radius of r, then the equation for the circle is x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals r squared. And this comes from the Pythagorean theorem. Let's look at a quick example. I want to write the standard equation of a circle with its center at 0, negative 9, and a radius of 7.4. Well, 0 is my h value, and negative 9 is my k value, and r is 7.4. So using the equation, x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals r squared, I get x minus 0 squared plus y minus a negative 9 squared equals 7.4 squared. I can simplify and see that x squared plus y plus 9 squared equals, I can do 7.4 squared, which is 54.76. Thus, my final answer is x squared plus y plus 9 squared equals 54.76. All right, we're going to look at two more examples. In this one, we want to write the standard equation of the circle when we're given the graph. I want you to try to figure this one out on your own first. It might take a little while to figure out the radius, but try it on your own. Pause the video and resume when you're ready to check your solution. All right, for this one, I have a center at negative 1, 3. That's my h and k. To find the radius is a little bit trickier. I realize that I can construct a right triangle, though. And I see that since this point right here is negative 1, 3, and this is negative 5, 6, then looking at my x values, from negative 1 to negative 4 is a distance of 4 units. Then looking at my y from 3 to 6 is a distance of 3 units. I'm going to use these to solve for my radius. So I see that 3 squared plus 4 squared equals r squared. 9 plus 16 equals r squared. 25 equals r squared, so r equals 5. I now have everything I need to come up with my equation. x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals r squared. I get x plus 1 squared plus y minus 3 squared equals 25. And that's my final answer. This one was a little trickier because you did need to use your knowledge of the distance formula and the Pythagorean theorem to solve for r. Here's one more example. Graph a circle with the equation x minus 5 squared plus y plus 1 squared equals 16. Here I'm working backwards. I see my center is at positive 5, negative 1. Don't forget to flip these signs. And that my radius is 4. So I can graph my center at 5, negative 1. I can count 1, 2, 3, 4 up. 1, 2, 3, 4 to the right. 1, 2, 3, 4 down. And 1, 2, 3, 4 to the left. Connect these dots as best as I can in a circle. And there I go. If you want to, you could give the ordered pairs of these points, but I'm more concerned than just seeing that at least the points are there.